You can give without loving, but you can never love without giving. The great acts of love are done by those who are habitually performing small acts of kindness. We pardon to the extent that we love. Love is knowing that even when you are alone, you will never be lonely again. And great happiness of life is the conviction that we are loved, loved ourselves, and even loved in spite of ourselves. Promise to encourage your compassion, for that is what makes you unique and wonderful. I promise to nurture your dreams, because then through them your soul shines. I promise to help shoulder our challenges, for there's nothing we can face if we stand together. I promise to be your partner in all things, not possessing you but working with you as part of the whole. With this marriage, I take you to be my husband. From this time onward, to join with you and to share with you all that is to come. To be the wife you desire, to give and to receive, to speak and to listen, to inspire and to respond. A commitment made in love, kept in faith, and eternally made new. With this marriage I take you to be my wife from this day onward. To be the husband you desire, to give and to receive, to speak and to listen, to inspire and to respond. A commitment made in love, kept in faith, and eternally made new. Lastly, Lastly I, I promise, promise to you perfect, perfect love and perfect, perfect trust for one, one lifetime with you. Could, could never be enough. This, this is, is my sacred vow to you from, from this day forward. The purpose of marriage is the establishment of a family for the common good of its members and the preservation of society. Marriage is intended to be permanent institution in order that the members of the family can together create a happy home. In the presence of these witnesses, I ask you, Mr. Jonathan Frank Small, will you take this lovely woman, Miss Diane Wynn Small, to be your lawfully wedded wife and love her for better and for worse? I will. In the presence of these witnesses, I ask you, Miss Diane Wynn Small, will you take this man, Mr. Jonathan Frank Small, to be your lawful very husband and love him for better and for worse? I will. As you are both answered the question in the affirmative, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Please, Jonathan and Diane, take the ring from each other as a sign of the union. And Jonathan, could you please say after me? As this ring encircles your finger, as this ring encircles your finger, so my love encircles you. So my love encircles you. And Diane, I accept this ring. I accept this ring as a symbol of your love. As a symbol of your love. Now and forever. Now and forever. Diane, as this ring encircles your finger, as this ring encircles your finger, so my love encircles you. So my love encircles you. Jonathan, I accept this ring. I accept this ring as a symbol of your love. As a symbol of your love. Now and forever. Now and forever.
Jonathan, you may now kiss your wife <laughs> again. <laughs> Dear Jonathan and Diane, you are now joined in marriage. As spouses, you are equal. So love and mutual trust for each other in marriage and act together for the good of the family. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. So ladies and gentlemen, Mr. and Mrs. Small. <coughs> <coughs>